Hello friends, welcome to the vlog. Today we are vlogging Day in the Lifestyle and I have been getting a lot of work done here in my office. It is fairly early in the morning. I have already been on a business meeting this morning. I have filmed a video for you on travel and I have hung out with the dog a little bit because he's down here and he's being needy. But I've gotten a lot done this morning, so I'm going to bring you along for our day. We have some travel coming up, so today is going to be really switching gears later today to a travel prep day. And this is kind of the earlier step that I don't always necessarily show in a video, so I thought it'd be really great to share it in a video today. I have all the outfits that I pre-purchased for our trip that I'm planning on wearing on the trip. I will kind of give you a sneak peek of all of those, and a lot of them need to get steamed. So that's one of the things I have to go through and do about a week before travel at least, and get everything steamed and ready to go. And then I will start rolling items, putting outfits together, and getting them packed in suitcases, which is what you normally see in the packing videos. But today, we're gonna do like kind of our pre-prep <laughs> and get things going. So that is um, kind of the big thing going on today, but other than that, I just need to get some more work done around the house, probably go run a few errands, and then pick up the kids from school, and we have another fun HelloFresh meal for dinner tonight. And so that is what the day looks like today. I also really want to do like a whole video on my desk area and everything that I found to put at the desk area, but I wanted to show where it was at because I really kind of got those final few completer pieces and I'm loving these desk mats. They really help so much as far as keeping everything organized and just looking really nice. But apparently today is just going to be a huge sneak peek video. I did get this in the mail the other day and I absolutely love it. This is a mini desk vacuum. and. It like works so good. I got dog hair in here, my hair in here, all kinds of different things. So that was something I didn't even know that I needed for my desk. But here's my little sneak peek of my rose gold area. This is kind of my workstation where I do crafting and do things where I just need a bigger open space over here in this area that has um, the picture and then the organization station kind of over here. And then I've got my Cricut stuff. I've got this um, rolling cart that I have these in a couple areas of the house. I think when it warms up outside in the spring, I'd like to take this out and paint it black. So that way it kind of goes with this whole like kind of motif. And then I just got this little bin that I can put some of my smaller smart vinyl things that go with my Cricut Joy and house a lot of that down here in this. So it's really coming together. I'll do like a whole little mini office tour coming up here soon, but um, I'm really loving all the rose gold. Just so you know, if you get a basset hound or a bulldog, this is what they're going to do all day long. They just lay here like a lump. He loves this little donut bed. So first things first, I need to get everything in the same spot, which theoretically you would think would not be that big of a deal. However, because of a reduced closet space in this house, there is clothing for this trip in a few different places. So I'm going to try to get it all in here. I almost need like one of those like clothing racks, but it's got to be like portable and can break down. But I don't have one right now. So we're going to come up with a makeshift way to hang up all these dresses that need to get steamed and come up with like almost an assembly line like way for me to kind of steam it out and then move it over so it can dry and just keep moving things down. So I'm going to start setting all of that up. I have a few things that were hanging up over here behind me when I was talking, and this one I absolutely love. This one is a sweet little dress that is Rapunzel inspired. It is cute on. It is a little shorter than I normally would go, but I'm only planning on wearing this to dinner at the Rapunzel show on the ship. Um, it's like a Rapunzel dinner theater. I'm so excited. And I have a really great lounge fly bag to use with that. It's celebrating Rapunzel's birthday on the ship. And the lounge fly bag is a piece of birthday cake. Oh, hello. Have you come to help, buddy? And so I'm starting to lay out all the different outfits. We are going to Mexico on the cruise. I did a whole video that's either before or behind this um, talking about how I plan and how I decided on where we were going for this cruise, mainly because we wanted to do a new itinerary and new ship. Um, but I found some real gems dresses that I cannot wait to wear. It is also a week long cruise. So there's more dinners, more days that we're going to be on the ship. Um, and so just more different types of outfits that I need. This maxi dress is really cute on. I was kind of on the fence cause I didn't know how it was going to look and it's got a really low cut, but it's super cute for a cruise. 
and I'd kind of dress a little differently on cruises than I would do in my everyday life. So um, I re get to wear like really fun dresses that have a lot lower cuts or maybe are shorter and things like that than I normally would wear. This is a really cute dress that's got tear. You can see it really needs to get steamed. I'm loving this smock that looks really great on. And this is one that I would wear just like regular. And same thing with this one. It's the Zessica brand, which I get a lot of stuff from that brand. It's a one shoulder. And literally when I pulled this one out, Isabella was like, ooh. <laughs> so it's got a little bit of ruffle at the bottom. And I'm really looking forward to that one. I think it's going to look really cool. And then I have a couple um, just tops because I'll wear tops with shorts or jeans. And this one has some really pretty embroidery on it. Absolutely love love that one and blue is one of my favorite colors this is just a really fun one to wear um, around either for like a midday lunch or maybe one of the dinners that's not themed on the cruise um, I do have a couple other Rapunzel items I got this one to wear <laughs> Because well, the ship, it rotates since we're on there for more than a week you'll go to each restaurant multiple times so I do have more than one Rapunzel outfit as you can tell I'm very excited about this restaurant. So I'm going to go get the rest of the stuff over here from the closet. But wait, there's more. <laughs> um, so I have this really fun dress to wear to Lumiere's, which is a Beauty and the Beast inspired restaurant. Again, very, very wrinkly. So that needs to get uh, steam, some palazzo pants. We're going to very like tropical climate. So I do have like one kind of tropical A-line dress. It looks really cute on and then just a couple just kind of casual social dresses as well so i'm going to get all of this put together out there with the rest of this stuff and a couple more dresses that you will see on the cruise and need to get steamed um, this one that has that smocked detail again it says Jessica brand that i love and it has a little bit of a ruffle flare at the bottom. It looks really cute on. This one, which I was really on the fence about, but I absolutely love this one on. It hugs in the right places, flows in the right places. And this is another Zesca dress. This is maxi, and this one's midi. So those are similar versions, but actually two different dresses. So this is about a week's worth of stuff. Um, I also need my travel outfits that I'll wear on the airplane, but most of that stuff's pretty wrinkle-free. A lot of these dresses that I get, um, they just come kind of inherently wrinkled. So we are going to go ahead and work on starting to get those steamed out and ready to go. I've been working on getting some video shorts done here around the house. I need to finish up a little bit of computer work and then it's going to be time to go get the kids. These guys are home and getting their hot cocoa snack. We're using all of the things on the hot cocoa bar to load them up. So after the kids are done with their snack, I'm going to run Natalie over to the library. She's got some books that she needs to take back. We need to return these, so we're going to head over there real quick before dinner to get this done. We're back from dropping off her books to the library, and it is time to make dinner. So today's dinner is... This pecan crusted chicken, I'm not sure if we showed this in another video. I feel like we might have. Um, it was a number of weeks ago, but we've swung back around and they like this so much that they wanted me to put this on the order again, the kids that is. And so we actually ended up getting this one, which I'm going to make tonight. And then this is the last one for the week, meatloaf a la mom. I'll make that one tomorrow. So I'm going to start getting the bag and all the ingredients out to get this one started.
that's it for our day. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up. We're gonna go downstairs and play some Mario Kart and I think watch Bad Batch. So I've got my cozy little sheer lane jacket on that I found on Amazon and I love this color so this is a good find. And we are gonna hunker down and be inside most of the weekend because it's super duper cold here. So coming up I have all of the planning videos and packing and getting ready for the trip so keep an eye out for those and thanks for watching. Have a great day.